today we've got the Jupiter jar. And what the Jupiter jar is, is a sphere that has a liquid in it that lets you see the currents as it rotates. If I get the spinning, you can see the currents that are flowing in the jar. You can see little eddies that start to appear. And if it goes really fast, you can start to see bands of liquid flowing. Just like Jupiter's atmosphere, which is comprised primarily of hydrogen. So if you were to look up at Jupiter, this is a pretty close representation of what its atmosphere actually looks like. So to make the Jupiter jar, you'll need a few things. First off, you'll need some sort of turntable. You'll also need a globe like this one. Uh, this is just a lighting globe you can find at any lighting store. And what you want to do is fill it with what's called rheoscopic fluid and a mix of that and water. We use a 3 to 1 ratio, uh, water to rheoscopic fluid. And what rheoscopic fluid is, is a fluid that has some suspended particles in it that are like tiny plates. And so what happens is when it flows, those little particles align with the currents. So when you spin it, you can see the shininess and the currents that flow in the jar. Another option, instead of using rheoscopic fluid, would be just to use some shiny hand soap mixed with water. You'll fill that into your globe, seal it off, and then attach all of that to your turntable. And when you glue everything together, make sure you use a watertight sealing glue, and make sure that you use a strong glue like an epoxy to glue it onto the turntable so that parts don't fall off and things don't break. Uh, but once you have that, you're good to go, and your Jupiter jar will be great.